Day 1, Psalm 1, 1 and 2 Prepare You are about to enter into the very thoughts of God. Ask God to enable your heart to absorb those thoughts and embrace them. your deepest desire. According to James 5.17, Elijah's prayers were answered not because he was an extraordinary man, but because of how earnestly he prayed. Earnestness is the key to answered prayer. What is the deepest, most driving desire of your heart today? Cry out to God for that. Meditate. Psalm 1, 1 and 2. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. Consider the first phrase, blessed is the man. What does it say about God that he begins the whole book of Psalms with that word, blessed? Do you want God's blessing, his favor, his smile on your life? How strong is your desire for that? How hard do you seek after it? If you can, close your eyes for a moment and imagine what your life would be like if you had only half the blessings from God that you have now. Now imagine what it would be like if you had twice as much favor from God as you have now. No wonder God started the book with this word. What could be more important than having God smile? on your life. And how do you get it? Listen again. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. Verse 2 describes what blessed people do, and verse 1 describes what they don't do. Two sets of opposite characteristics. Think carefully about the description in verse 1. Of all the ways he could have described those who do not receive God's blessing, why do you think he chose sitting, walking, and standing with the wicked in their way and counsel?
of all the ways he could have described the person who does receive God's blessing, a person of faith, a person of integrity, a person of love, why do you suppose he chose meditation? Listen again, this time from the Christian Standard Version. How happy is the man who does not follow the advice of the wicked, or take the path of sinners, or join a group of mockers. Instead, his delight is in the Lord's instruction, and he meditates on it day and night. What stood out to you this time? Now the New English translation. How blessed is the one who does not follow the advice of the wicked, or stand in the pathway with sinners, or sit in the assembly of scoffers. Instead, he finds pleasure in obeying the Lord's commands. He meditates on his commands day and night. Is there anything you could do differently today to conform your life more closely to the description of the blessed man in Psalm 1? Pray for others, friends and family. Think of three or four of your closest family members or friends whom you want to receive God's blessing. Pray that God would open their eyes to the truths about him that you saw in Psalm 1. Pray also that this passage would be fulfilled in their lives, that they would be among those who take delight in God's word and meditate on it day and night. Is there any role you think God might want you to play in answering the prayers you just prayed for your family and friends? Thanksgiving. One of the purposes of God's blessing on your life is happiness. He wants you to have joy in Him, and one of the easiest ways to receive joy is through gratitude. What are the last five blessings that God graciously gave you the ability to enjoy? Relive them with an eye on God's love. Let your heart bask in the favor on your life that those gifts represent, and the love of God that those gifts express. And as joy arises, respond to God in gratitude. Begin with the first that comes to mind. Now the second. Now the third.
now the fourth. Now the fifth. If this is bringing you joy, hit pause and keep going with five more. Take it with you. Pick one thought from this meditation that you want to carry with you. What can you use as memory cues in the upcoming day to help you bring that thought to mind at least twice more today? 